going to cook something that is so simple and it's so Moorish for this time of year. It's a slow cooked eight hour shoulder of lamb. First of all, make your stuffing. And when you make your stuffing, let it get cold before you put it into the lamb. To make the stuffing, first of all, you're pan frying um, onions in some olive oil, then adding some rosemary when they're half cooked and some fresh ginger and cooking that all the way through before you put in some lemon thyme and then right at the very last some pickle quince. So chop up the pickle quince and then as it cools down put in some freshly chopped parsley and salt and pepper so it's nicely seasoned. Then you have a good relationship with your butcher because you've asked your butcher to bone it out for you. And all you have to do is pile the cooled down uh, stuffing and put it right in the center. Now, once the butcher has boned it for you, it's, it's a kind of rough rectangle. And that's, that's important in that um, you want to keep the shape so you can roll it up. Uh, now, this is the thing. You have the stuffing in the center. The thinner side should be the side that goes around and kind of pulls it in together. So there you have a nice cylinder. Now, let's just do the simple tying it up as if you were tying a parcel, that's all you have to do. Tight first, your first one, just slip that under. It's all about feel. Pull it that way. Now I'm going to slip this long piece of string under and tie it with the beginning piece and I have my little parcel. Now, uh, about 120 degrees, so it's a very slow cook, but what I'm gonna do now is rub it with some extra virgin olive oil and some sea salt before I'll take this and cook it in, I choose, oh, a really heavy base pot to cook it in. Whoops, ooh with a lid. Now the reason for that is having the lid on and that very heavy base means that none of the juices that exude from the cooking um, evaporate. So here we are just rubbing it, sprinkling it all over with sea salt even though you've put plenty of salt in the, in the stuffing. And then I just take it into the kitchen and really seal at a medium temperature, but not too fiercely. Uh, I, I want it to be golden all over before I put it into the oven. And all I'll do is deglaze it with a little bit of verjuice, or you can use wine, um, but just about a couple of tablespoons, and that's all, because it creates its own juices as, as it cooks. And that's all it is.